people of the internet, my name is Johnny and welcome back to yet another video on YouTube. Apparently the only platform today that can keep itself from bugging out. Though I guess that's not entirely true because there is a bug that will unsubscribe you from channels. Hmm, might want to double check on that one. Anyways, we got a whole bunch of interesting FNAF security breach TV news to talk about today before episode 3 drops, hopefully tomorrow, if Steer World decides yes they are going to do the bi-weekly release of the episodes, which hopefully is the case because I cannot wait another week. Last week we got Moondrop and Sunrise, who knows what we're gonna get tomorrow. And again, subscribe so you don't miss my reaction. So I thought quickly before we get to episode 3 tomorrow, we'd take a look at the website because it has updated. And we've also got some other interesting security breach voice acting news that I feel like a lot of people are overlooking. But I mean, I've told you to subscribe two times in the intro, so let's just hop into the actual video. So here we are on Security Breach TV as you should see it if you hop onto it right now. Unfortunately, I can't get the sounds to play because that is something we have to look into, so I guess I'll just have to play a sample later on. But the most important thing is this logo right here. If you remember last week, or I guess whenever the week that episode 2 came out, if you double clicked on it, it would change into a Montgomery Security Breach logo, which was very interesting because we had never seen that. However, as you can see by the chicken and wolf, emoji that you get when you hover over the image. If you double click on it, you now get Glamrock, Chica, and Roxanne logos bouncing around on the monitor. I will say the Roxanne logo looks a bit strange. However, last time Monty appeared on the TV screen, we did see him as a secret image in episode 2, so could we see Chica and Roxanne in the third episode? It seemed like Monty was very busted up when we saw him in episode 2, kind of like what Glamrock Chica looked like in that Daco teaser. So could we see Roxanne meet the same unfortunate faith tomorrow? Something else, it looks like there's a brand new prop. Uh, it looks like a coffee mug with a Security Breach Pizza Plex logo on it. Unfortunately, the Montgomery Popsicle has melted. And also, if you hover over the phone, you get, I thought I heard something. Now, with the secret messages, I haven't really talked about them a whole lot, simply because, well, they're just kind of boring. I mean, it seems like most of them are be careful, or whatever that is. Right, you can't save this. However, with the phone, there's no glitched text. So either Stewell messed up on their end and there's supposed to be glitchy text, or that's done on purpose because that is a hint to what we're gonna see in the game. I thought I heard something. Maybe that is a voice line spoken by someone on the phone or one of the characters like Vanessa or Gregory. And again, there is a brand new sound on the website. Let me see if I can get it. All right, I found a clip on Twitter. I'm gonna leave a link down below that has the sound. Clanking. Sounds like a machine clanking around. What does that mean? It's a brand new sound effect. It hasn't been on the website. And it's something like clanking around, like moving around, moving machinery. Could it be the weird tentacle monster that we've been seeing teased throughout the throughout the episodes? Or could it just be like one of the glam rocks? I don't know. But it's interesting that they're changing the sound. Anyways, that's enough of Security Breach TV, the website for now. Again, we will be back tomorrow for episode 3. Now I want to talk about some Security Breach voice acting hints. This whole situation is very confusing. So I'm going to try and make it sound not confusing. Because <laughs> this all happened like very late at night one night and it, it was just like, it was so much info. So I've gathered it all and hopefully a very simple process. <laughs> okay, so randomly on the night of September the 29th, Michelle Moss, who you may know as the voice actress for Ballora, and also Roxanne herself in Fury's Rage, she made a tweet saying, whoa, it's been a while since I've checked in here. Busy walking, just finished something for Scott Cawthon. Don't know if I can say it yet, keep you posted. So this came out of nowhere and it was very strange. Cause usually all the voice acting for the games is kept very, very low profile. The most we get is a review on Voices.com, and that's all we have to go off of. However, Michelle just kind of tweeted this out for no reason. But then it gets weirder, because the voice actor for Foxy and Pigpatch, you may know him as Chris, retweeted this, which again, is interesting. Now it could just be Chris, you know, sharing the excitement, or 
it could be a hint that he's also involved. He did leave a reply saying, good to see you around. Off topic, the gypsy wagon you've built is fantastic, which I will agree, it is fantastic. Oh, and also Michelle just randomly tweeted out to Kellen, the voice actor for Funtime Freddy and Molten Freddy and Fredbear. It could just be them catching up, but it could also be something secret. But it doesn't end there, because Devin Lauderdale, which may not be a name you recognize immediately, but he provides the voice of Monty in Fury's Rage. He retweeted only a couple tweets with a bunch of eye emojis. Sorry, not a couple, at least three. And then he tries to play it off saying, oh, I'm just trying to share the excitement, bro. Don't get all, don't get all excited, bro. Which first off, you don't just retweet three things with a bunch of eye emojis and then say, oh, false alarm. I just want to get people excited, because I'm excited. So I don't know, I'm calling cap on you, Devin. I think you know something that we don't. Oh, but surely Johnny Blocks. Surely it ends there. That's already like four or five voice actors? Well, what if I told you that we got something from August? Now you may be saying one or two things. Number one, what do you mean it's October? And number two, who is August? Well, once again, you probably don't know his name, but he's the voice actor for Ned Bear in Ultimate Custom Night. He too, tweeting out the eye emojis. What does this mean? Well, it could not mean anything at all because he retweeted Devin's tweet about him not being involved with whatever Michelle was talking about and him just being excited. So it could be something or it could be nothing, but it's most likely something because why would all the FNAF voice actors tweet about all this just at the same time on a random day? Oh, did I mention that Michelle revealed a lot, probably too much about her role in Security Breach? Because uh, she did and probably should not have. So before we hop into what Michelle revealed, what do you think is going on with the voice actors? Do you think it's a coincidence or do you think they're hiding something and we're gonna get voice reveals very soon for the characters? I think it would be very exciting if we got a few voice lines in some of the Freddy and Friends cartoons. And we are getting pretty close to that release date. So who knows, maybe they're gonna have a huge like gameplay trailer right before the release of the game with a bunch of voice lines, I don't know. What do you think? And now let's hop on to what Michelle revealed about her new role. So like I mentioned earlier, Michelle tweeted out saying that she just got done wrapping up things with Scott, and then she went and answered a bunch of questions in the replies. Someone said, it's Roxanne. Michelle replied, that was before, this is something else. So allegedly, according to Michelle, what she just got done wrapping up with Scott isn't for Roxanne, it's for something else. Someone said, is it related to Ballora? She said, nope. So, uh, unfortunately, no Ballora just yet. I don't know, maybe sometime down the line we can get FNAF World Update 3, or maybe Ultimate Custom Night 2. But yeah, it's not Ballora. And this next one definitely, definitely probably should not have gotten out. Someone said, give us a hint. And Michelle, instead of giving a hint, kind of just gave the answer. Security breach. So this new role is for security breach that she just got done wrapping up with Scott, but isn't Roxanne nor Ballora. Elaborating a bit further, she says it is something totally fresh, which again is interesting. It's not Roxanne. Hmm, could it be the staff robots? That's a big ol' nope from Michelle. So it's not the staff robots, it's not Ballora, and this role specifically isn't Roxanne. And then finally it kicked in, ooh, maybe I shouldn't be revealing all this. Waiting to hear back from Scott about how much I can reveal. I think the damage has already been done. But casually, I'll just announce that yes, I'm also Roxanne. <laughs> Now, to be fair, again, like I mentioned earlier, she was Roxanne in Fury's Rage, but since this is all about security breach, I think she might have just leaked. Which, I think we all guessed that she was gonna be Roxanne anyways, but it's still kind of funny. <laughs> Someone else said, did you get a lot of lines? And Michelle said, quite a few. So once again, this isn't for Roxanne, it's for a different role, but whatever role it is, it has quite a few lines. It's also not the cupcake. I feel like this was <laughs> pretty, pretty clear, but it is not the cupcake. And then finally, it came to a close when Michelle said, Scott says, shh. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is all we have for today. Until episode three comes out tomorrow. So what do you think's going on with all the voice actors? What do you think the new role is for Michelle? What do you think's gonna happen in episode three? Do you think we're gonna see an appearance by Roxanne and Glamrock Chica? Again, subscribe so you don't miss my reaction to episode three, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye. Hopping into the jalopy, gonna go for a ride To the pizza shop with a friend We're jumping and rocking till the sun goes down And the moon is 
shining forever and ever. Forever.